The border wall battle is getting noisier and nastier as property owners in South Texas face off against a federal government intent on seizing their land. Land needed for a portion of wall construction that was approved by Congress months ago. The $1.4 billion project has raised the ire of the Catholic Church and its neighbors along the Rio Grande River and could signal what lies ahead if the president's plans for more wall building go through. The Lalamita Chapel, the namesake for the city of Mission, Texas, happens to be in the middle of the already approved path. Building could begin as early as February if lawsuits don't stop at first. It'd probably go either on top of the levee or right down at the base of the levee. Father the Roy levee Snipes, often donning a cowboy hat with his crucifix, is a Catholic priest in the Oblate Order, which has ministered in the valley since the 1840s. We're here at the old Alamita Chapel, which is the kind of the mother church of our whole area. The Catholic diocese does not want to sell this land or give it up, so it's suing the government, saying this violates Catholic teachings, the church's responsibility to protect migrants, as well as its First Amendment right of religious freedom. This serenity and simplicity of the place would be ruined. Much of the approved construction project will look like what you see behind me, asphalt, concrete, and massive steel ballards for a fence line. Though many in the valley say the price of this physical and visual immigration deterrent isn't worth the cost of heritage if the federal government takes private property by eminent domain. Uncle Sam is going to impact that dramatically by eliminating all of these trees full of nests, eggs, baby birds, piling them up somewhere and burning them. At the National Butterfly Center, the concern is what a wall and law enforcement zones will do to migratory birds and butterflies. You eliminate the plant that is the reproductive basis for the butterfly, and you eliminate the butterfly. The center is a nature preserve and tourist magnet, and it's also suing to prevent the government from building here. Director Mariana Trevino Wright says the end result will be a concrete federal footprint on wildlife. <laughs> Nearby, the federal government has already surveyed what it would take from the Cavazos family, 64 acres. The wall itself? Yeah. It's not going to stop anything. Many families like them have multiple heirs to their properties, so the total impact of land seizures is yet unknown. Construction may cut off access they have to the water they grew up fishing on. From the same river, Father Roy uses to boat to work. For God's sake, leave our chapel alone. You don't have to build a wall along this beautiful river. If you're the smartest and richest and, and most powerful uh, people in the world, can't you think of something better than that? The Oblate missionary also rents land from the Cavazos family, so his own house and the community's house of worship could be behind a barrier, too. John Mount Associated Press, Mission, Texas.